hello there. This is Smith Welding and Restoration. I am your host, Adam Niffin. Stick around, see what's in the garage this week. All right, so what we're dealing with here is there's extrusion marks right here that we are going to let in today. So I've already wire wheeled the area affected. Now I use this fun stuff here, stir it up real good. Get all that lead worked in it with it. that lead obviously being so heavy will settle out of this suspension this tinning compound pretty damn good stuff two very small areas to deal with we've got everything else on this fender to a point that uh, blocking it twice with high build primer or blocking it once with slick sand will just take care of the issues. Uh, there were, this fender was split down the middle and TIG welded back together and in my opinion the gentleman who did the work did an excellent job. You're never going to get perfect though. That's where guys like me come in we went along the crown and use a six tooth file, high speed sander, and a DA. We bumped out some of the, the lumps with a ball peen hammer. This is 11 gauge steel, so it's not like uh, body hammers and dollies. So now we get in here. about to turn. There we go. I got my gloves on. I got a drawer just for my lighting products. If I open that drawer past an inventory glance, if I'm reaching in there for anything, I've got my glove on. I don't I don't fuck around with the stuff. It's not as dangerous as everybody gets it out to be, but it's still dangerous. And you gotta watch your ass. Remember heat rises? So you'll start heating up on the bottom and work your way up. That way that heat will work its way up and make your life quicker and easier. And you're not trying to heat up too much area. Now we got that taken care of. I always try to heat up on the same end because if you set this down and it's heated up, it's been melted off both ends, you set this down and you don't know which end you just heated up, it's going to hurt. I mean, you might like it. I don't know. There we go. Remember, put more than enough lead in there. It'll make your life easier in the long run. That's probably twice as much lead as I need, to be honest. And that's that. This little job makes for a nice, quick intro to leading.
I got tallow on my paddle already. And I got a tallow sitting over here next to me to heat up and put on there. You roll it. Roll the paddle into the lead. And get that set. One of my favorite people just wandered in the shop. I'm shutting this off for a second. Alright, we'll be back. We're gonna get this laid out. Ah. Get this heated up and laid out, press into place. One bad thing about letting the lead cool, it's kind of a bitch when you come back to it.
perfection. Thanks for watching.